plan, Rennie. I'll get my workout in first, my workout in first, okay? And then we'll do yours. Is that cool with you? As a camera dude, I get the opportunity to not just shoot news. With my skills, I've actually been able to start shooting people's weddings. But when you're shooting someone's wedding, they are totally, I have a lot of cables around. A wedding, just like news, is super important because things happen only once. First kiss, the dance, the K toss, all this stuff happens once. And they are not going to redo it for you. Just like breaking news. Basically, following a bride is kind of like shooting breaking news. <laughs> I actually stress more about weddings than I do about news. News, I feel like I can do with my eyes closed. I think some days I actually have done it with my eyes closed. In news, you kind of have to be a little bit more bland and a little bit more straightforward. There are creative things you can do with news, but for the most part, you really have to stick to the story. At a wedding, you're using drones, stabilizer equipment, it's cool music, really cool color grading. The most difficult part for me, way too many ideas in here that I want to get in, into that computer. There's only so many hours in a day. I promised Rennie that after I got my workout in, I'd get her workout in. And I'm gonna keep my promise. Wow, that's Santa Claus. Hey, you got Santa Claus up there. I have a little dilemma, everybody. I didn't quite think through that last vlog, I don't really know how to end it. I kind of had this great idea, montage of Morena and I running and all this fun stuff was gonna happen, but let's try that again. I had this really clever montage figured out with Morena and I, we were just gonna trot along, she'd pull me around, all this kind of funny stuff, but she didn't quite act up the way she normally does. So that ended up being kind of boring, but I know exactly what to do. Really cool assignment today, got to shoot some cool drone footage. I'll edit it to the beginning of this video. Actually, you just saw some of it, and it's the only basilica in Denver, Colorado. Might even be the only basilica in Colorado. Fact check me. Enjoy that, and I'll see you on the next one.